Tonight's main news again. The annual rate of inflation has risen to 9.4%, the highest level for eight years. And the British lorry driver held in Greece over the super gun affair has been freed on bail. More on Newsnight on BBC Two at half past ten. But that's the nine o'clock news tonight. Good night. Have a good evening. From Newsroom South East, the main stories this evening. Police in Kent are warning parents to be extra careful after reports of bogus social workers visiting a home in Gillingham. A well-dressed man and woman claiming to be from a child abuse centre called at the house yesterday. When challenged, they left in a battered white estate car with a distinctive yellow wing. Police say there could be links with similar cases in the north of England. Uh, I hope that uh, people will be aware that there are people like this going around and naturally if they do get people knocking on their doors, if they are not happy, to call the police. More than 300 staff at the Natural History Museum in South Kensington have been staging a 24-hour strike. It's in protest at plans to cut 100 jobs as part of an economy drive. An £80 million scheme to redevelop a large part of London's Docklands has suffered a major setback. Stanhope Properties has become the second major developer this year to pull out of a scheme for a business park and shopping centre at the disused Royal Docks. It says the project is not financially viable. Three men who carried out an armed raid to finance a series of property deals have been jailed for a total of 56 years at the Old Bailey. Hartgill MacLeod was jailed for 21 years and Dennis Ellington and Louis Miles were each sentenced to 18 and 17 years. The court heard the men from South Harrow had hijacked a security van in Wembley carrying £720,000. They were arrested following a high-speed chase involving flying squad officers. A man training for the priesthood is staging a three-day rooftop demonstration on a Hertfordshire church. Andrew Downs is on the roof of St Thomas's Church at Northall near Potters Bar to raise money for underprivileged children. And that's it. Here's Ian McCaskill with the weather. Hello, plenty of fine weather in Britain over the weekend and over Europe. Having said that, there will be showers in places anywhere from East Anglia through to Malta and over the plain in Spain, but plenty of sunshine as well. Fine over most of Scandinavia, fine a lot better than it's been over the Algarve and southern parts of Spain and fine through much of Italy and Greece as well. And 25, may I, may I remind you, is 77 degrees Fahrenheit. Wind's pretty light too, so the ferry crossings should be like the proverbial mill pond. The satellite picture does show rather a lot of cloud, but watch that stuff move away towards Malta. And watch this front try very hard to push in towards the British Isles, but it's not managing it. There is a swirl of low pressure cloud over the North Sea, giving showers today in many eastern districts. That's filling slowly and moving away eastwards and taking the showers off into central parts of Europe over the weekend. Uh, these fronts not getting across the British Isles until later on Sunday and on Monday, but probably not all that desperately active when they come across. This, in fact, is a little chain of high pressure, which should give a lot of bright weather in Britain over this coming weekend. But as you can see on the radar, still showers over eastern parts of England. Those showers though, are becoming lighter and uh, more infrequent as we go through the night. In fact, skies are clearing in many western parts. That does mean some patches of mist and fog overnight. It does also mean perhaps a touch of ground frost in some sheltered glens in Scotland. There could be a, a ground frost in some other districts tomorrow night and early on Sunday as well. So cast near a clute, as they say, not just yet anyway. Those are the minimum temperatures tonight. Typically 6 Celsius, 43 Fahrenheit, but up in the north, as low as 4 Celsius, 39 degrees Fahrenheit. Tomorrow, a lot of dry, bright weather. Still cloudy at times near those eastern coasts there. Still some showers too, and one or two showers breaking out inland over eastern parts of England during the day as well. But nonetheless, the cup final should have essentially fine weather. And the cup final in Scotland, a glorious day up there with a good deal of sunshine. Wind's pretty light everywhere, but still coming in off the cold North Sea onto that eastern coast. So eastern coasts aren't going to be very warm again, but possibly a little bit warmer than today. Wind's very light indeed. 12 doesn't sound much, 54 degrees Fahrenheit, but Tynemouth in northeast England today reached just 8 Celsius, 46 Fahrenheit. But typically inland, nearer 16 or 17 Celsius, 61 to 63 degrees Fahrenheit. A few showers on Sunday, but mainly dry.
On BBC Two now, Arena celebrates La Parry Black, paying tribute to black culture and its lasting contribution to the life of a great city. Here on One in 50 Minutes, we're going to allow ourselves to get just a little bit excited about that old cup final magic. First, we welcome the return of those detectives, Pearl and Finn, in a new series taking us south of the border. Saturday on One and at 10 to 6, romance is in the air with the Flying Doctors. Then... If you were born with the sound of opportunity, Les Dawson would be in your house in conjunction with seven acts new to television. Goldfish is dead. In three up, two down, Sam turns super sleuth as he tries to discover what Daphne is up to. Let me out of here! But investigations fall flat for private detective Paul in the case of the lost love, the Perry Mason film at 7.55. At 9.50, a family feud in casualty. I want you to see him, Dad. No. Yes. Just once, before he dies, I want all three of us to be together. The road reaches Wembley at 10.40 and features highlights from the match of the day, the 1990 FA Cup Final. Paramount City. A smile, a song, a couple of bouncers, a maraschino cherry, a fish shuffle for two, and I hope you. At 20 past midnight, the late film is a tense psychological thriller. Intrigue and deception in Double Deal. What do you want? All I want is a cup of coffee and some chicken. Saturday Variety on one. In 10 minutes on BBC Two, Newsnight asks whether our latest inflation figure of 9.4% is perhaps better than expected. Also, a look at the rather extreme measures needed to combat inflation in Brazil. Here on One in half an hour, John Travolta and Jamie Lee Curtis are indulging in a little romantic comedy in our Friday night film, Perfect. First, just hours away from that match, a taste of that old cup final magic. <laughs> 